All right, so now you can see how bad the gap really is. I can literally almost put a finger in there. Welcome back to This Mobile Life. Today, we're gonna try to do a somewhat major repair on the RV. Over the last couple of trips we've been driving, we've noticed the front of our front cap coming apart. And today we're gonna try to fix that. As you can see here in the front of the Tiffin, we've got an issue right here with the front cap coming apart. We should just need some basic stuff to make this repair. We're gonna need some screws, some adhesive, some silicone. We're gonna have to take off this trim piece right here that runs down. We're gonna have to remove any broken screws that might've been in there that have rusted out. And then we're gonna have to put some new screws in and glue it back together and put the trim back on and re-silicone. At least the glue is holding. Do you want me to slice the rest of it with the knife first? I don't think we need to. I think this will work. So you're using a painter's putty knife? Home Depot? Home Depot oh, Special. Yeah. HDX brand. The main thing I'm trying to do is not to bend the strip so the paint doesn't all crack off. Yeah, because it's already cracking off along the side, but it was already that way. All right, so now you can see how bad the gap really is. I can literally almost put a finger in there. Luckily, this doesn't go inside the house, inside the motorhome, but it goes into the, uh, you know, under the front hood, under the by the generator. And we think it was originally caused by. Yeah, and we think the original owner or the second owner, the original owner got a little bit of uh, road rash on the chin there, and I think that extra pressure pushing up against that just shifted everything. You can see there's a screw hole here but there's no screws and that's all that was holding it all together if you look back in there very carefully you probably can't see in the camera but there i can see the other side of the screw hole back there and that screw has rusted and snapped off and caused the front cap to no longer be attached so now we just got to clean this gunk off fix it we're cleaning off all the old stuff and there's a whole bunch of screws missing there's supposed to be one right there. There's supposed to be one right somewhere in there, right there. There's supposed to be one there. There's supposed to be two there. And there's more down below. So that would explain why the front cap is coming off. So now we're just getting all the old glue off, all the old filler off, and then we'll start screwing it back together. And now I'm getting underneath of it. That's what I was trying to do. Do you want to stop where you're at and we yep. should put a screw in? Yep. Hello. 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 Good. Trying to figure out how to keep our front cap from falling off. <laughs> uh, that's not good. No. It's pretty common. A lot of people have had to. Is that right? Yeah. This is a 2013. Really nice. I guess it's a class A thing. The, the caps can just because it's held together with screws and glue. All the screws are missing. And all of our screws are missing. <laughs> no, uh, no. I'm gonna get down to here and then I'm gonna go nuts down here. So let's do this part up here and we'll flatten all that glue out and then we'll deal with this big gap. Okay. But I wanna work our way there so there's the least yeah. amount of resistance. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I don't hit anything inside the wall. I got like a transmission wire or something. It'd be a weird place to put one, but. <laughs> All right, let's get some more glue up in this area. These ones were right in the middle before. Look, it's actually pulling it out. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. 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 So they're actually not screwed through the fiberglass. We need more glue down there before we screw more. Okay, otherwise it'll get too tight. And we'll get yeah, I'm wondering if we should put one more up here. I, I don't think that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna put one in the middle like they did before. <laughs> I 
there. Awesome. Alright. Okay, so look underneath the RV. It wasn't screwing in because of this metal bar. Right there. So we had to drill a hole. This is crazy. Okay. And first with we drill a hole. And that allowed the screw to bite into the metal. We got a bead of glue on there. We're gonna to try to put our trim piece back on. Hopefully we got enough glue. And then we're gonna to have to fix all the siliconing. Oh, you're holding it, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you wanted? I yeah, I was like, well, how is that staying up? Let's just get it roughly put on there. Okay, so we've got the trim piece back on. It's held down with masking tape right now so the glue sets for it. And then we're going to re-silicone the edges and seal it all up. Hopefully be good to go. All right, so we let it sit overnight. Everything stayed in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and silicone it up and wrap this up. So a lot of people don't know this, but you spray it down with Windex first and then run your finger down it, it'll make a nice smooth uh, line and the extra stuff will just wipe right off. All right, so that wraps up our repair. We'll give you guys an update if 